Once, a funny little dolphin decided to go for a swim. He lived together with his family on the high seas and always dreamed of visiting the bay. The place was surrounded by rocks on all sides and in its warm water you could somersault and chase after schools of small fish. But his mom and dad told the dolphin to stay away from this dangerous place and not to approach it even at a ten waves distance. But the dolphin really wanted to visit the bay and therefore did not obey his parents. Earlier he had already run into danger. It happened in the spring when the dolphin was still a baby. The weather was sunny that day but the ocean was raging. Huge waves would rise high and with all their strength fell on the little dolphin. But the dolphin was not afraid of the waves and did not fear the wind. Everything around was familiar and did not frighten him. The dolphin swam boldly towards the horizon. But suddenly, a stingray appeared near the dolphin. The little dolphin did not know how to escape from that fish. He struggled to swim away from the stingray in one direction, then the other. But the stingray kept pace with the dolphin, and with every second it came closer and closer to him. It was a good thing that his dad was close by. He heard his baby crying and protected him. It was an excellent lesson for a small and inexperienced dolphin. But he had grown up and at the moment knew just what to do if a stingray or any other dangerous fish appeared. The ocean was calm. The ocean welcomed the skillful and speedy swimmer happily with small waves and splashes sparkling in the sun. Fishes, big and small, with shiny scales accompanied the dolphin. They played with him. They would either hide behind long, thin seaweed or pop up from behind the branchy corals. And the sun was shining brightly and smiling with all its rays. The dolphin's travel arrangements took very little time. Everything he needed for the trip was near him. Water, air, fish, and good spirits. The waves were foaming up and splashing silver droplets, and a rainbow was shining through them. It was magnificent, and the dolphin left behind all his troubles and just played. Suddenly, a shark appeared in the water. But the dolphin was no longer afraid of sharks, as he knew how to deal with them. He sped up and brushed by it, cleverly dodging its sharp teeth. They're not all that scary. He didn't even notice when he ended up in the bay. The water was noticeably warmer, and the sea was calmer. 
The dolphin liked the place at first sight. When tumbling about in the waves, the dolphin saw crabs at the bottom. They moved their claws in a threatening manner, crawling sideways and burrowing in the sand. The starfishes, big and small, lay still on the sandy bottom. A herd of seahorses was frightened by the dolphin's rush and scattered. <laughs> How funny they were! He was not trying to scare them. He was playing. The dolphin needed to find someone bigger to play with as much as he could. At last, the shadow of a large fish slipped over him. The dolphin turned around and chased it. The fish really was large, about ten times the dolphin's length. Having caught up with it, he looked with surprise at the scales that were exactly the same as the design on the ocean floor. The dolphin whistled playfully. But the fish did not want to play, and it was boring. Suddenly, a slightly smaller shadow appeared for a moment. <gasps> what good fortune! The dolphin heard some gurgling sounds and wondered. Maybe he would finally manage to play with this fish. The dolphin decided to come up suddenly and unexpectedly. Having speeded up in the water, he jumped out near the tail of the fish. It was not a fish, but a motorboat. Already in the air, he realized that something was wrong. But it was too late. The dolphin flopped into the water very close to the boat's propeller. The screw hooked the dolphin's tail. He whistled softly. His mournful whistle echoed under the water over the entire bay. The fishes heard it but could not help. They just swam around, trying to do something to support him. It all happened not far from the shore where a boy was sitting. He had watched the dolphin playing on the waves and, of course, saw the accident. So the boy jumped into the water and swam. And when he reached the dolphin, he saw that it had already turned its back up and was looking at the boy trustingly. While gently pushing the animal towards the shore, the boy murmured kind and sweet words. The shore was close. A wave helped the dolphin get to the shallow water. The tender sea did not let his skin dry out, but it did not understand that the wound needed urgent care. It was quite a job for the boy, but he pulled the dolphin onto the shore. He felt pity for the animal and proceeded to help. To prevent its skin from drying out, the boy covered the dolphin with a wet towel. When the towel was dry, he soaked it again in the seawater and covered the dolphin. And the animal smiled as he felt someone's care for him. The boy told the dolphin stories while he was lying on the shore and getting better. 
these stories made him feel even calmer. Then evening came. The boy talked, and the dolphin whistled softly. He felt warm and comforted. Together they lay on the soft, warm sand and looked at the night sky. The night was starry. Soon they fell asleep. The sun woke them up. First, its rays slid across the dolphin. Then it moved its warm light to the boy and started warming up his back. He opened his eyes and looked at the dolphin's tail. The wound had closed. So the boy got up and pulled the dolphin to the water. The dolphin whistled joyfully. He really wanted to get into the water. As soon as the dolphin was in the water, he immediately started swimming, and the boy swam next to him because he was worried about his friend. But everything was great. The dolphin's tail looked just right. And the dolphin was so happy because he was in the sea again. The boy was not supposed to swim far from the shore, so he and the dolphin swam near the shore. Now the dolphin had completely forgotten about his wound. It had healed. Nearby, round and transparent jellyfishes were swimming. Seagulls flew high in the sky and squawked. And when a whole school of flatfishes came and started to hide in the sand, the boy and the dolphin lost track trying to count them. They swam together for a long time, but in the end, both were tired. So the boy decided to go ashore, and the dolphin wanted to swim to his mom. Staying on the shore, the boy waved his hand to his new friend. And the dolphin jumped out of the water and showed its tail, which looked as good as new. It is fine when you have loyal friends who are always ready to help. The boy went home, and the dolphin swam in the sea to his family. His parents were so happy at his return because they had been looking for him all night long, but had not found him. His mom and dad were gently swimming around their dear son and asked him what had happened. The youngster told them about the stars in the sky that reflected in the sea depths. And he didn't say a single word about the incident. But his mom guessed there was more because the dolphin made every attempt not to show his tail. So he had to tell his parents about the motorboat and his new friend who helped him in his time of need. The youngster said that the boy helped him at a difficult moment and healed his wound. The mom then calmed down because dolphins consider people to be trustworthy. But she said that the young dolphin was too young to swim in the bay and that he needed to get some rest. The youngster obediently went to his bed, 
After all, sleep is therapeutic. He thought for a long time about all the events that had happened. After such an adventure, it was hard for the dolphin to fall asleep. But soon his tired eyes closed and he fell asleep. Now it's time for you too to close your eyes and go to sleep. May you have sunny dreams of the ocean in which you are sure to meet a new friend. Good night.